It is finally here, my friends. And when I say it, I'm talking about the all new rigid 18 volt cordless portable bandsaw. This is one tool that I have seen requested so much on the comment section, on Instagram, YouTube, wherever. This is the tool that all of the rigid fanboys and fangirls wanted on their list. Now I'm not going to take all the credit, but I will also state that I was one of those fanboys that wanted one of these bandsaws as well. I wanted to see it in our hands and I called them every year. Luckily I got most of it on film. Well, check it out. This is Rigid. How may I help you? Ah yes, Rigid. This is Tool Review Zone. Uh, uh, hello Tool Review Zone. Hey, how you doing? Hey, question for you. Any plans on a portable cordless bandsaw? Uh, portable bandsaw? I'm sorry, you got the wrong number. Yeah, hey, Rigid. Hey. Yeah, so... I'm sorry, who am I speaking to? Uh, tool Review Zone? Could you please hold for a supervisor? Yeah. I am a supervisor, hello. Hey, listen, I called you last year uh -huh. about a cordless bandsaw. Can you please hold while I transfer you to another supervisor? Yeah, I'll hold. Hello, this is Supervisor. Yeah, I called you last year about a cordless... Yes, can you tell me who I'm speaking with, please? Tour Review Zone? Tour Review Zone, please hold. Beep! Please hang up and try again. No one wants to talk to you. Hello, thank you for calling Rigid. Your call is very important to us. Who am I speaking with? Yes, Rigid. Come on. This is Tour Review Zone. Could you please not put me on... Please hold Tour Review Zone. <sighs> Congratulations, Tool Review Zone. You're on hold. But while you're on hold, sit back and relax and listen to all of our new tool launches in 2019. That's right, we have a new miter saw, compact impact, and drill. We announced 15 other drills as well. And that's really about it. Oh, wait a minute. We have a cordless bandsaw. Nope, just kidding. Bye-bye. Yep, that's right. So now it's 2020, and here we are. We got it finally, and I am pumped. So today we're going to use and abuse. We're going to slice and dice, and we're going to find out what this thing is capable of doing. So today we got all kind of metal we're going to slice and dice through. We got some angle iron. We got some pipe. We got some rebar. We even got some wood here. But only subscribers are allowed to watch it, so make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification. Now, this comes with the blade if you want to use it. If not, use your favorite type. I don't care. It's whatever you want to do, but I'm going to show you how this goes on. Well, it's super easy, really, my friends. All you gotta do is take your release lever right here. You can see it goes left, it goes right, but if you wanna release it, bring it all the way to the right like so. You're gonna see your pulley right there is gonna go in and out and such. Okay, so now that we got that loosened up, let's put our blade on. It just goes like this into your bearings, and that's it. Tighten it back down. Throw that battery in there, squeeze the trigger, let it even itself out, and you're ready to go. Now, don't worry. We're going to talk about all the specs and everything you want to know about. But first, I want to start slicing and the dice, and I want to see what this thing can do. Then we'll talk about the RPMs and the specs and all that fun stuff. And yeah, let's just get started. Now, you're probably used to seeing these things working on metal, but yeah, you can cut wood. And I would tell you something. This is pine, but I think on harder wood, such as walnut or oak, it would work really, really well. So let's check this thing out and see what it can do. But before we pull that trigger, I will tell you it's a little bit heavier. And when I say a little bit heavier, I'm comparing it to the Ryobi bandsaw, which that's not a bad thing. This is actually very comfortable, and I like it being heavier because it allows you to actually get through that material a little bit faster, and the build quality is better. So uh, that's fine with me, just throwing that out there. I'm also going to throw out that this is a non-octane version. I don't see the symbol. I don't see the marking anywhere on this, but to me, I don't really care. Now, that said, you can use any battery. The octane batteries, the non-octane batteries. We're just going with the standard 5AH with this. Let's slice and dice through some of that. Meat. Doing a pretty good job kicking that dust out the back. Let's get a different angle. Now let's move it along to some thin metal. This is the stuff you would find on a bedpost. Here we go. It's pretty fast. So far, so good. This thing is cutting really, really well. But we also have a speed knob right here. So let's take a look at this. Let's bring down our speed and we're gonna see what we can do on a lower setting. Now the speed ranges from low to 325 surface feet per minute up to 680. And all you gotta do is turn that knob. Now, you can set it and forget it. Even with a little vibration, I have not noticed this knob moving at all, it stays put. Here we go, lowest setting. 
All right, let's go from 320 up to 680. So there you go, you can bring down that speed if you wanted to, but you're gonna lose a little bit of that ohm. So the rest of the testing, we're just gonna keep it on high because I like the slates and the dice on high anyway. So that's where it's staying for the rest of the tests. All right, next test up, we got some rebar. So we're gonna slice and dice down through here. We're gonna see what it can do. We're gonna see if it just goes smoothly, if it can go quickly. Let's just go. Tell you what, even this blade is pretty good. Yeah, this thing's going through like a champ. Here's a different view for you. Now, another thing that's really cool about this bandsaw is if you are working on HVAC or plumbing and you're close to a class one, div one, or some type of intrinsically safe area that you're worried about sparks, these don't shoot out sparks. So hot work permits might not be an issue for you. Of course, you wanna to talk to the safety representative on site, but this right here is so much faster. You don't have to worry about torching. You don't have to worry about grinding. It just goes quick, easy. And personally, I think it's a lot safer. So the rebar, there was absolutely no issue cutting through that. Even that blade that comes with it is pretty damn good. I'm pretty impressed so far. So we've been through wood, some thinner metal. Let's take a look at some piping. If you're a plumber or an electrician, this is gonna be perfect for you. And then we're gonna move it on to some angle iron. So this is about an eighth of an inch thick. If you're going through PVC, conduit, unistrut, you know, angle iron, this thing here, I'm gonna show you some black pipe in a bit. Let's cut through this here and see what it can do first. Things quick, man. Like mentioned, if you're an electrician, you know, plumbing, HVAC, check that out. That is awesome. And of course, a different angle for your view cousin. And that was for Real nice, like. All right, black pipe, here we go. That blade rest doing an excellent job keeping that saw steady. Here we go, angle iron is about a quarter inch thick. Wow, that was like butter. I mean, I'm telling you, everything on here is so freaking smooth. Even that blade, really nice. And you get the LED light on there, so that's gonna help illuminate those darker areas. That backstop is solid. Now, I do want to throw out that your guarding is plastic. That said, it is a heavy plastic, so I don't see any issues with this. I'm just letting you know it's not metal. That's probably going to help keep that weight down, and it's probably going to help keep that price down, but I still think it's built pretty damn well. The lever is stiff, which is a good thing for me. It's not going to come loose on you. I, I think, you know, all in all, it, it's pretty nice. The variable speed trigger it doesn't move once you set it you can forget it and i like that i like that the vibration even though there's not a lot there you know it's going to stay where you place it now the cut capacity on this you're looking at 2.5 inches the blade length you're looking at 72 and 7 8 of an inch you got a pretty comfortable grip up here i don't think you have to worry about this thing slipping out of your hands and you also got a raptor hook which i am happy to see they put on this tool and you got an onboard storage wrench right here that's hidden in the back. You also got holes for a tether if you're climbing ladders, working on scaffolding or whatever. You do have that open area on the case, which I'm worried about, you know, if you're working out in the rain, this thing getting a little moist. But we'll just wait and see how that plays out when we do our one year later review. Again, you have your lock feature up here, but there's no safety device when it comes to having to have two hands on this tool, which drives a lot of people crazy. They wanna be able to use the one hand. And you can do that with this bandsaw. And again, you got the rafter hook, so yeah, that's really nice. Now you're also going to get the Rigid Lifetime Service Agreement with this tool. 
you got the 90 day return they're saying that it will be released on the market around fall well it is fall 2020 so I am guessing probably late October, early November. I also don't have a price for you, but I'm guessing probably around 140-ish. That's probably without the battery and charger, but that's just a guess, don't hold me to that. As soon as it is available though, I will put a link in the description below for you to check it out. Now, of course, they will be selling this exclusively at the Home Depot. And other than it not being an Octane, which I gotta be honest with you, I don't really see a big difference other than the batteries being smart and telling you how hot your tools run. I don't use that that much anyway, so I'm fine with it not being an Octane, but I will tell you, I think they did a really good job on this bandsaw. And even though it's a lot of plastic on this, it's a heavier duty plastic, so I'm not worried about that at all unless you drop it off of a 15 story building. The power is really good on this. It cuts through like butter. I mean, really, it is, it is a fast cutting bandsaw. I'm not worried about this thing slipping out of my hand. I like the texture, the feel. Again, the vibration, very minimal. You don't really even feel it cutting. It's very smooth. I'm definitely recommending this saw. Definitely check it out if you get a chance. Now, I want to know what you think. Are you happy they finally came out with a rigid 18 volt cordless band saw? And what did you think about what you've seen during the video? I'd love to hear your feedback. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video and you want to see more, don't forget to get subscribed, hit that bell notification, and smash that like button as it's greatly appreciated. With that, we'll be back with more videos soon.